campaigners arriving at the Dáil with 75,000 signatures calling for a reversal of this measure. For the past 40 years, food supplements such as vitamin C, cod liver oil and omega-3 have been sold at the 0% VAT rate. Revenue's original plan was to subject them to a 23% rate from next Friday, a move that would have had a big impact. I suppose the biggest impact will be on the consumer. The, the, the person who goes into the health store uh, to buy the product, they're going to have to pay more. Opponents say the move will also put 1,800 jobs and 200 independent health stores at risk. There are going to be less sales within stores and that's going to reflect in less profit, less revenue within our business. And it, sh it could result in job losses, unfortunately, and, and it's, that's very sad. This health food store in Dublin is nearly 40 years old. People are talking about like already coming in before the end of this week and, and, and you know bulk buying their supplements, which is not a sustainable approach. Um, so, so really, it, it, it's clearly going to have an impact. Revenue says the 0% VAT rate has been exploited by some parts of the industry. No, I, and I, I don't think there was widespread non-compliance. I think that's just, it suits Revenue's narrative that they, they need to apply this tax to, to make, just to make their own interpretation easy. There's also a suggestion that the introduction of the new rate is undemocratic. Well, it's being brought in purely and simply by the revenue commissioners. So this is not something that you will have voted on in the budget. You won't have seen this in the finance bill and you won't see it in the finance act. The new measure was due to come into force this Friday, but in a statement this evening, revenue said it's now been deferred until November the 1st. Michael Ryan, Virgin Media News.